Oh, what the hell? Tony, I... I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words? <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Huh. Okay. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. Lilith has a Hulk now. And here I thought we were in this shit before. Now that Banner has turned all evil scientist, I'm worried about what he'll do to Wanda. I don't want to think about it. I just want her home. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith. And it rhymes with the word, sulk. And when Banner gets sulky, whoever he hurts is going to be on Tony's hands. Oh, man. I never thought Dr. Banner's mind could get hacked. Poor guy. Poor Wanda. Don't worry. We'll get them back. Both of them. I get where Tony's coming Are you from. going to just... If a midnight sun turned vampire... Well, let's just say I don't want to think about our friends being cursed to that life. We're in a war for the very soul of our world, Hunter. Sentimentality gets us killed. And don't think for a second that Lilith doesn't know how to exploit that. I have an idea to get Lilith. Damn, turf wars hurt. I've always heard don't make Banner mad. And I've seen him mad a few times, but this was way madder. Berserker, even. I trust Tony. Most of the time, he always has a plan, and when he doesn't, he always makes a plan. Sometimes. So done with that. Yeah. Hello. We should talk. You're right. You. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk, as did he. We're all willing to risk our lives, but this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? One if she has already. If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. Oh, I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience, and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt, and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is... I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name? Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? 
I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. He's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just larger than most. Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I've stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. All right. Well, you know my thoughts on the matter. Yes, Sarah, but not everyone's like you. Some of us find it a little difficult to shoot at our friends. I don't know what Tony was expecting. Saving the world requires making painfully difficult decisions. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I think he made the right call. Should I be questioning your judgment too, Carol? Look at the alternative. Let's say Tony took the shot. Perfect bullseye. Bruce is a goner. Nothing but gamma dust. Tony would be broken in ways none of us can fix. Practically gone as well. We can't afford to lose Tony, and we shouldn't give up on Bruce. We owe him more than that. I hope you're right. Because what's done is done. And we'll all feel the consequences, whatever they may be. Tony Stark let sentimentality stay his hand. I fear we may experience painful weak Okay. Hunter. I see the battle at the Avengers Tower has left you... relatively unscathed. Relatively. But Lilith has done far more damage than even we imagined. Yes, I've heard about what happened with Dr. Banner. Lilith is flexing her power in more ways than one. If we weren't the target of her ire, I might have said I was impressed by her growing resourcefulness. She will resort to anything to save herself. There's more to it than that, Hunter. Lilith seems unusually driven in her efforts. You suspect she has something even greater in mind? You can be sure that Lilith is only going to get more dangerous the longer this goes on. And while we may be forced to wait for her next move, you can still continue your work on the grounds. You think it will help? The more you come to understand about your mother, the better prepared you'll be when it comes time to face her again. And if you happen to gain a blessing or two from the old gods in the process, I'm sure it can't hurt. 
I will keep looking for more of Wanda's notes and other materials. Let me know if you need my help, dear. All right. In battle, we must make sacrifices. You wanted a word? Yes, about Banner. What my mother has done to him is a tragedy. I wish that was all it was. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. Not for long. We will get him back. You know that's not possible. If he is as grave of a threat as you say, we have to try. No, Hunter, he is beyond saving. All we can do now is figure out a way to protect ourselves from him. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. Hmm. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. Oh. I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. I wish I could comfort him, but alas, I fear he's tired of me. Perhaps you will have better luck reaching him. Banner and Hulk. Are... I've been trying to stick around for all the extra dialogue, but every single time I try to leave these people, they keep talking. See the role Banner has yet to play. Oh, he's over here. Not good. Nope. Don't like losing the Avengers Tower. This can't be happening. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. The hell they are! They blinded me to what was actually going on! Damn it! why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face! How did I let him play me like that? Banner did not fool just you. He fooled us all. Yeah, well, if anyone here should be foolproof, it should be me. You are not the first brilliant man Lilith has deceived. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. And perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. All right.
Yep, here we go. Oh, poor thing. I feel the torment within you. The pain. So conflicted. Don't worry, dear. I am here for you. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce will be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are, all you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> I will never get used to that. I don't freaking believe this. Wanda falls and everyone's like, oh freaking well, she was kind of messed up anyway, move on. But their golden boy banner betrays them and they all fall apart. Why are you acting surprised, Nico? The Avengers only care about themselves and their own. They make it clear what and who they think is a priority. We are not. They see us sons as dispensable misfits, to be discarded or sacrificed if we do not prove our use. Yeah, I get that vibe sometimes, too. Yeah, well, it's a vibe I'm not okay with. This double standard crap is not cool, and I've reached my limit dealing with it. No! Oh, and you were so close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. Told you Retro were more hardcore than the ones they come out with today. Yeah, but isn't there such thing as too hard? I mean, if you came out with this game today, Where's the girl? everyone would totally rage quit and roast it online. Let them rage. I like a challenge, you know? That satisfaction at beating a nearly impossible game is just, well, satisfying. Keyword there is impossible, dude. I mean, this game was made before you were born. And I don't think anyone has actually beaten it. Probably not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Besides, it's a better use of my time than arguing about Abby politics. Not gonna argue with you there. Hey, so can I have a turn? Why don't we ask Hunter if they want to play a game? That's a generous idea, dude. It's so... Hey, Hunter. Mind if I join you? Please do. Oh. 
Whoa. Hmm? I just realized we're nearly the same age. It's kind of blowing my mind. Why? In my head, you're ancient. No offense. But you've actually lived fewer years than I have. So, are you one of the kids? Or the second oldest adult? I don't know how to treat you. I'm glad you brought this up. I am unhappy with how you have treated me. Oh. Oh, man. Was it the ancient thing? Because... As your elder, I expect breakfast delivered daily outside my room. I'm, I'm not the best cook, but... I... I expect you to launder my battle garb after every mission. There's a washing machine? Magic said we had to use the creek. And walk Charlie twice a day. Do not touch her waist, for its hellish nature will make your hair fall out. <laughs> okay. You're definitely one of the kids. That's an impressively straight face. Take a goblet. We're doing this again, right? When we hang out, it really doesn't feel like the world is ending. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanda thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on. You see the double standard, too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? Banner was an Avenger, one of their own. They lost a brother. Surely you can empathize with that. Not if they're not going to empathize with us first. Wanda's a Midnight Sun. Our lives should matter just as much as theirs freaking do. You know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious Banner Boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. An action is just what I might take. Oh my. Good. How are you, Carol? Better Good. than Tony. Poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I do not have it in me to kill someone I loved either. No offense, but I actually don't buy that, Hunter. You did kill your mother when it came down to it, didn't you? That was not a choice. Sorry. I didn't mean to scratch at that scab. It's just... I do think you are probably a tad more comfortable with going to the dark side to get the job done than we are. Dark side? I have given my life to preserving the angels of our better natures. I'm not trying to be judgmental. We need ruthless soldiers like you in battles like this to do the things the rest of us aren't comfortable doing. I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. People are starting to not like me being positive. Oh! Now I know I've been here before. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. Caretaker and my mother knew their powers could help others, and they did not hesitate. Of course not, dear. Your mother was a gifted healer, and Sarah was never one to back down from a fight. They also knew the signs of Cathan's influence, and Shaw's sudden rise to power undoubtedly got their attention. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. 
And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondagore, who brought it to the Coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. This must be Shaw's study. Guess I wasn't supposed to have already been here. The goddess of order approves. This ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. There we go. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Indeed. Wait until tonight and speak to Strange. He may know more. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Ah. It's always good to see you. Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, the usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place. Swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion. It puts things in perspective. What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with C'thon. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him. Blood or not. Did Wanda ever make it to this place? I suspect she did. But if she discovered something, she didn't tell me. Until we speak again. Right. <laughs>